Welcome to Electron Online. And now we're going to change this into a product. So we have the difference of two cosines. What does that look like as a product? Well, to do that, we need the general equation. And so we have the cosine of one angle minus the cosine of a second angle. That's equal to, and that would be minus two times the sine of a plus b divided by two times the sine of a minus b divided by two. All right, let's see if we can do that here. Notice that a in this case is 4x and b in this case is 6x. So this becomes minus two times the sine of the sum of the two angles would be 4x plus 6x divided by two times the sine of the difference. That would be um, 4x minus 6x divided by two. Okay, simplifying that this is equal to minus 2 times the sine of 4x plus 6x is 10x divided by 2, which would be 5x times the sine of 4x minus 6x is minus 2x divided by 2 is minus x. And then I can use the identity that the sine of a negative angle is equal to negative times the sine of the angle, and that negative will multiply times this negative to make it a positive, so this can be written as 2 times the sine of 5x times the sine of x. And that would then be the simplified form in, in a product form, starting with the sum, the summation here in this case, of course, the difference between two cosines. That's how we do that.